So this is a guide for those who want to learn how to use their coot more productively. Not everybody wants to do this and not everybody needs to spend the time to learn how to do this. But there are some people who use uh, coot routinely and it may be worth their while. Uh, it's worth my while um, to learn how to uh, use these techniques. There are three ways in which we're going to customize the interface. The first is edit settings, install template key bindings. That gives us a list of, uh, have a bit of structure, shall we? There we go. Um, the first gives us a list of key bindings, um, which we will commit to memory. So if we touch these or press these keys on the keyboard, then this operation happens. Um, I've added a few in and uh, I think they are useful. They're useful for me when I use Qt. Okay, so having committed those to memory, we will pursue uh, the customization. Uh, see here, reset view display manager, go to Atom and um, go to Ligand. There's a vertical divider. Click right mouse to the right hand side of that divider and we get manage buttons. What we do here is add extra um, buttons into this uh, modeling toolbar. Which ones? Um, well, that depends on you, but the ones I like for the moment are Spear Refine, Tandem Refine, and um, Backrub Rotomers. Backrub Rotomers is a toggle. Let's turn it on. Right. Um, so that was way number two. There are obviously other functions um, in that list. The third way is to use curlew, which is the extension wrangler of Coot. So file curlew, and then it goes to query which extensions are available. Um, and there are some that we can install here. Um, obviously, they're all of some interest and some use. Um, the ones we may want to use uh, for this tutorial are um, elaborated add terminal residue, let's say. Um, Let's try this one. Expand map radius, uh, dynamic validation, refinement tools, keyboard mutate. Um, the There are some other cryo-emi ones that are not really interesting uh, for Chris Logan. Right. Um, OK, so let me show you what expand map radius does. So if I zoom out a bit, uh, the key binding there is on square brackets. So if I press the square brackets, I can change the radius that's being displayed. Um, OK, what else do we have? Well, let's do the tutorial and we can investigate uh, exactly what all of that uh, customization has given us. Um, but this, I will stop here. There's one more thing I wanted to add to the startup uh, video, and that is how to set the uh, startup size and position. Um, so without it, we have to set the position and size of our window. Um, but having done so, we can now go to Edit Settings, Save Graphic Size and Position. That will add to our preferences the size and position of the window, so that when we come to start Coot again, like this, it will start up as it did the last time. 